Yo, what's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to install the AOS CP ROM which is based on Android 8.1. I did previous videos of that ROM 8.0 or 7.1. I'll leave cards if you want to see that. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen. So first, you need to go to this XDA thread to download the ROM and GApps. Links for these will be in the description box below, so do not worry. And before proceeding, make sure to back up everything from your device and do this on your own risk. And make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. So as I have downloaded the ROM and GApps file already on my phone and I am on Suda mod ROM right now. So let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery. Once you are booted into TWRP recovery, now hit wipe, then advanced wipe. Now check cache, Talvik cache, system and data as usual. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back. As you can see, I am using TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2 here. So now hit install, locate the ROM and gapps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Once the flashing is done, now hit reboot system and wait for the time being. Here we have the AOS CP or Cypher OS boot animation which is pretty cool. Now as we are booted into the system, let me complete the setup process. Now while setting up the device, I selected the option of restoring Google Cloud Backup as usual. But it asked me to select the backup again after I am done setting up the fingerprint scanner and google assistant. And I select the backup again and it asks for it again. So I had to hit the don't restore option here. I never faced this issue on any other ROM before. Thankfully later I find out all the apps started downloading but the settings were not backed up. Hmm, I'll consider this as a tiny bug. Now let's jump into the Luna launcher which is the stock launcher here. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with except UC browser and wallpaper app. Here are the stock launcher settings if you are into that. Pulling down the notification tray, you will see this quick pull down pop up on the bottom which basically helps to pull down the quick settings panel all the way down every time you do that from the top right. So I'm gonna hit yes because I love this feature. Here is the quick settings panel. By tapping on the edit button, these are the toggles you will get. Let me add the night light toggle here. At this point, I realized my Wi-Fi or data isn't working for some reason. So I had to restart my device once and afterwards Wi-Fi and data started working fine. So here is the about section for you. As you can see, the stock kernel here is shadow kernel. And this ROM comes with latest security patch of January 5th, 2018 and of course it's built on top of Android Oreo 8.1. Now let's talk features. Well don't expect this ROM to give you Nitrogen OS like customizations or something because this ROM is more focused on stock Android experience. But we have a few customization options here like on screen buttons or you can customize the home menu and back button hold or double tapping options. In gestures, we have double tap to sleep which works fine in here and I'll disable the double press of power button to launch camera. Now let's move into display to see the color manager of UI settings. From here you can change the device accent color, it means the heading text color I guess. I'll leave it as default. The dark and black UI colors are working fine here too as you can see but it takes a little bit of time to apply the effects. Here we have a pocket detection mode so that your phone does not get interacted with touches while in your pocket and it works fine as you can see. Now let's go into battery settings and see if we can turn on the battery percentage thing. Yes it's here. 
I'll talk about the battery life later on Twitter, so do follow me there from the descriptions. So now let me give you a demo of Geo 4G Vault E working. By tapping and holding on the settings icon on quick settings panel, you will get the system UI tuner which will push the customizations of this ROM a little further. This tuning settings is already there before so from here you can choose the screenshot you take to capture full or partial screenshot. This is no way the long screenshot feature. You can enable the adaptive brightness icon from here which is this one. So here let's jump into the system UI tuner settings. From here you can enable or disable status bar icons and some other things if you are into that. Now let me take a quick picture to show you guys the quality of it. All the features of Android 8.1 is present here and the rounded edges on each quick toggles looks awesome to me and these animations looks great. Here are the N22 and Geekbench 4 benchmarks for this ROM if you are into that. Now let me try face unlock with Android's smart unlock feature and yes as you can see it works fine. Only things which are missing in my opinion here are the clear all button in recent apps panel which you should expect in any custom ROM is not present here. I mean you have to go all the way down to clear all from here and locking apps option from recent apps panel to stay in memory even if you hit the clear all button accidentally is not present here. The user interface of this ROM feels amazingly smooth though I am using the modded pixel launcher here. If you haven't watched that video, watch it right now from the top right corner. I think this ROM has been improved quite a lot from the 8.0 version which was just bad and that even replaced my TWRP recovery with something that wasn't even booting. But some things that still disappoints me that you can't disable the heads up notifications as of now and if you hit the search area in the settings it just four stops. Now let me check the RAM management of this ROM. In the meantime let's talk what's working here. Wi-Fi, 4G wall TE, data, torch, camera, FPC fingerprint scanner, double tap to sleep feature, face unlock, everything is working fine for me. And the RAM management of this ROM in my opinion is almost great. Thank you so much for watching guys hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you like my work. This is Tito from KDM Tech signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.